Hey guys, welcome to Artsy Fartsy Furniture in Distress. Today I'm going to show you how I turn an old dresser drawer into a floating wall shelf like this one. Let's get started. My name is Dorothy and I'm going to be showing you another one of my original designs today. I'm going to be converting this old French provincial dresser drawer into a floating wall shelf. Let me know in the comments at the end of this video how you have repurposed old dresser drawers. This project is a bit tricky, but once you make one, you're going to want to make more. You'll need to find an old dresser with solid wood drawers that doesn't have any of the modern sliding hardware. I prefer these French provincial drawers because I really like the curvy design and the fancy drawer pulls on the front. The most important thing is the sides of the drawers need to be flush with the front. Once you have a good drawer, you'll need to cut the back of your drawer down. I like these shelves to stand out about five inches from the wall. So I measure back from this front about five inches. Use a speed square to draw your cut line. I use a circular saw to cut the drawer down to size. Now you have a workable drawer front. I need to add a piece of wood to the back of this to make this drawer stable. Measure the width and the depth of the drawer to get your size for the back piece. Use glue and nails to secure the back to the drawer. Next, you'll want to make a top for this shelf. I like to trace out the shape of the curved drawer on a one by six inch piece of wood. It makes the shelf really stand out as a unique design. Once you've traced the shape of the drawer on your top piece, you'll want to cut it out with a jigsaw. Once you have your top piece cut, you'll want to attach it to the drawer with glue and nails. Once your top is attached, you'll want to shape the edge with a router. Routers have a lot of different shapes. I just like a simple rounded edge. Use wood putty to cover any nail holes. Now your floating shelf is ready to paint. I attach D-rings to the back of these shelves since they're small and most likely won't be holding really heavy items. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more of my repurposing projects, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications. Please leave a comment about this video and let me know how you have repurposed old dresser drawers.